Yo, yeah. what up, you too, bitch? Your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at you with another Forza Horizon 2 build video, man. In this one, we are taking a request from one of our viewers, Mr. Giovanni Diaz, wants to see a hey Volkswagen drift build, uh, specifically the Volkswagen Beetle. So, what we're gonna do is uh, jump into the buy. Uh, the auto show by car section of the game and buy up that Volkswagen Beetle and we are gonna get right into this man uh, so let's see sort this up by manufacturer and jump all the way over here come on man hit that button hit that button hit that button you guys already know what's up man we are gonna do this shit up see what kind of options we have for the Volkswagen Fucking up. All right, here we go, man. Now we have the 1963, obviously, cult classic stock Volkswagen Beetle. And then we have the off-road Desert Dingo. Damn, that thing is looking pretty sick. But to be honest, I would like to start this build off in a stock form, man. So what we're going to do is jump right into this. If you guys are new to the channel, I just want to say welcome. You guys already know what's up. If you guys are already subscribed to the channel, man. We are doing this shit real big all day, every day. Um, let's see if we can't find some kind of... Oh, I like the wood grain on there, man. That shit is looking dope. We might have to take it back with that wood grain, man. I haven't seen a paint job that's quite like that in this game. So what we're going to do, bam, is get this. Now, I wish that they did have maybe a little bit of a nicer color as opposed to this nasty-ass red, red color. But hey... It is what it is, man. So, what we're going to do is turn this into a drift build, man. Now, I, I'm thinking some high, high horsepower, um, probably an engine swap, um, turbo, the works. Uh, what we're going to do is jump into the garage right, here. So, what are we doing to your ride today? Get into the upgrade section of this mofo, man. So, first and foremost, you guys know what we like to do, and that's go in and check out our engine options, man. And we got the 2.0 liter inline four, 2.5 liter with the turbo, or the 6.2. How are you going to fit a 6.2 liter V8 into that car, man? Let's be honest here. Um, I'm thinking we're going to go with the 2.5 liter flat four just because it has the turbo and i do want to have a nice turbo kick man because we're gonna need those wheels to spin man and uh obviously we're not gonna do the all-wheel drive uh drivetrain specifically because we are doing that drift build man now let's check out our options as far as bumpers go i'm kind of liking that cleaning it up a little bit <laughs> that is just looking kind of goofy i don't know what the hell's going on there um, I think we're gonna go with this nice little chrome bumper here keep it kind of stock But not you know what I mean? Um, oh that roof rack. I Like that roof rack man Shoot, I think we might have to go with that roof rack because look at that those wood panels are matching Our wood grain beautifully man. This is a double whammy punch buggy and fucking beaver panel dog You guys already know what's up man you guys are from the 90s. You may or may not have played that motherfucking game. We also had one where it was yellow card too. So if you saw a yellow card, but shit got carried away, man. You'd be punching people left, right, and center. You guys already know what's up. So let's jump into here and deal with our tires. Now, I don't want to get too carried away um, with the tires because I do want to be able to drift it still. However, I do want to have a little bit of grip because let's be honest, this is a quite a bit of horsepower that we're playing with now that we did that upgrade we haven't even gone into the friggin modifying the, the engine itself we just did that swap uh so let's see those wheels are looking too chromey for my liking let's get into some a little bit something a little more sportier you know what i mean i like those goldies i wish there was a little bit more of a dish on them man uh, let's see what else we got up in here Biatch. Uh, that's looking mean. I'd like to see a BBS style wheel. Those goldies would have been perfect if we had a little bit of lip on them. But let's see what we got up here. Uh, uh, uh. Picking these wheels is a damn pain in the ass. You know what? I'm going to go with the goldies, man. Fuck it. 
we gonna deal with this real quick that voxen wagon i'm actually kind of liking those man let's beef up that rim size a little bit fill that fill that gap up a little bit man we need to get a little low profile tire going on here you guys already know what's up man that's looking a lot better now this thing obviously needs to get dropped uh what we're gonna do is drop in that clutch for those quick and sh fast nice shifts do that differential up so we can get those tires spinning um let's see what we got going here man this is looking kind of goofy we really need to take care of the suspension man no no lie oh look at the <laughs> look at the camber the camber on the back you can see it when you lower it the wheels friggin tucking in oh yes oh yes now it's looking right let's drop some brakes onto this biatch i'm thinking everything else is going to be pretty good this is a relatively light car um man that's that that changes the whole look of that car man uh let's drop on an intake oh, intake motherfucking exhaust drop that turbo down here oh install that bad boy man what you doing what you doing and let's upgrade the displacement just for shites and giggles man and the camshaft let's bring those rpms up to where we can really use them look at that we have a lot of usable power here looks like at about 3000 rpm all the way up to about 7200 rpm we have a nice usable power band and I think that we're going to be able to do some drifting with that, man. So what we're going to do is just tune this bad boy. And we're going to just get right into it, man. Because we already selected our little paint job. What do we got here? 228. I think we can do better than that. Um, oh, we didn't even... We didn't even... We got to go back and, and install that tranny, man. That Bruce Jenner's doggies. You guys already know why. Because uh, we got to be able to with this a little bit man so let's jump back into the tuning section of this motherfucking game so if you guys are enjoying this video i just want to say thank you and make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me um if you guys want to see more videos make sure you hit the channel youtube.com slash don squally d-o-n-s-q-u-a-l-e uh we got all kinds of videos coming out all the time i try to put one out uh at least once every couple of days um if i can um if not you know one, at least once a week um so we are active at the moment so make sure that you subscribe and uh if you guys want to see a build i say this in all my videos and i have to say i have been getting an overwhelming amount of requests so i just want to say thank you to you guys but drop your request down in the comment section man and i will do my best to get to it um but what we're gonna do is jump out of this motherfucker and we are gonna take our slammed drift build Look at this beast, man. Nice and quiet. Those Volkswagen engines, you know, relatively quiet engines, man. The VR6s tend to get a little bit squirrely and loud, but this 2.5, as soon as, oh, as soon as that turbo kicks in, you start getting sideways, man. Oh, shit. Let's take this little off-ramp in the opposite direction. Woo! Woo now this thing is just a handful to keep on the road, man. Holy shit. Woo! I gotta say, once I get the hang of this, I have a feeling this is gonna be a fun little ride. See how we do on the roundabout. Oh! Down a second. And that is how you drift a Volkswagen Beetle. I must say, it is. It's because of the short wheelbase. Oh, we got somebody coming through here. Don't hit me, motherfucker. Because of the short wheelbase, it's actually really easy to, to, to keep in keep it where you want it to go you know what i mean like if you if it gets too carried away you just turn the wheel the opposite direction 
let off the gas. Oh, this guy. You lucky I'm in my drift build right now, dog. You lucky I am in my drift build right now. Or else we'd be freaking racing. I like this thing, man. It is a lot of fun. Alright, let's see. We got a couple of couple 90 degree. Oh shit. Oh snap. Woo! The perfect amount of grit. Perfect amount of power. What the hell did we just go into? Oh hell no. We ain't doing no car means, man. Oh. Uh, Back the fuck up out of there and get back on the road, man. My apologies. Oh, snap. Well, what I'm thinking we're going to do is pull off to the side here, man, and get a couple of shots of our Volkswagen Beetle. The 2.5 liter, probably out of a newer Golf, I'm assuming. Oh, we got another. Oh, no, is that the same sucker? Don't worry, I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you, bitch. Oh, man, this thing is sicko whirly. So you guys already know, man, once again, I just want to say thank you guys for watching, man. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate all the support. I started this channel, um, I'd say about four or five months ago right now. And, um, you know, I started off on the 360 just to see if it would even be something that you guys were interested in watching. Um, I am upgraded now, obviously, to the Xbox One. But uh, since then, I just have to say uh, I've got about 800 subscribers and uh, steadily grown. And I just want to say thank you to all you guys uh, who are watching um, wherever you are. And, um, you know, it means a lot. So keep watching those videos, man, because uh, I'm going to keep them coming. Because this is just, you know. I'm having too much fun, man. I'm enjoying myself, and uh, oh, nice hey, work. let's face it, man. You know that you're just uh, one photo away <laughs> This from game banks, is right? fucking awesome, man. And you know, I'd be playing it whether I was, uh, whether I was nice uh, photo, videotaping so. my gameplay or not. You know what you're I'm saying? So, uh, that with too. that being said, we are probably gonna call this one a wrap. So once again, I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and. Um, Shit, man, I think we're gonna catch you motherfuckers at the next one, man. Purr.